Well, after like fucking eight hours, just over eight hours of downtime, we finally are able to actually get into Warface with this, uh, yeah, new expedition event. Beautiful. But let's, uh, let's first things first, let's see the crafting system. It's beautiful. I have 25,000 free cards now. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I received everything already. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, Typhoon. Yeah, just craft it because then I have everything. Oh, it looks so green now. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's all green. Okay, anyway, what else is new? I will just read the, uh, what's it called? Patch notes. You could say that or event progress thingies. Uh, yeah, anyway. Relic Beretta PMX. Yeah, I will definitely equip that thing first. Uh, otherwise, there is not really anything else. Or am I missing anything? Nah. Okay, uh, let's see the Beretta PMX first. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's Medic. Not Medic. I want Engineer, please. Okay. There is this beautiful gun called Beretta PMX. I cannot look at the mods now because I don't have it yet. But I got it for time because I'm content creator. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can actually already inspect the gun even though you have it uh, dual. You cannot do that with the uh, Copperhead. So yeah, this is what it looks like, the Relic Beretta PMX. It has a lot, and I mean a lot of RPM. It's the highest in the game, by far. Because it's also dual, yeah, obviously. So in total it has 2010 RPM if you hold down L2 and R2 at the same time. Yeah, it really feels like it. You don't really have recoil with one of the guns. It only adds up. So yeah. Pretty good, I would say. It has a lot of, a lot of exclusive attachments, honestly. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot. Like, really a lot in the uh, mods. But yeah, anyway. Let me read out the expedition event now. So we got, uh, by completing the event contract, you'll earn event points. These ones. Uh, yeah. I guess. A pistol for 500 event points, a charm for 1000, the ancient puzzle charm, and the knife, the relic hunting knife for 1500. You get these points by contracts if you filter it just once. You can get black market coins and the uh, reputation coins, I guess. So yeah, there's like five in total of them right now. Mm hmm. What else is there? Yeah, just more black market coins. If you go into the event and select PvP, yeah, you will. The combat with power ups is an eight by uh, eight times eight or eight versus eight format. Eliminate the enemy team with powerful bonuses and earn valuable rewards. Yeah, there is a total of six power ups. One of them is the Rocket Man. You get a rocket launcher with an unlimited amount of ammo that recovers over time. You will still have a regular weapon and get additional protection from explosions. Great. Then there's the pyro power-up. You get a flamethrower and molotov cocktail. Yeah, just why not. Then there's the juggernaut. You will become the owner of a heavy machine gun with an unlimited supply of ammo, but you will lose your mobility and you won't be able to slide, run, jump, squat and help, uh, and help allies double climb. Your only weak spots will be your head and the reactor on your back. I guess that's good. Then there's the ninja power-up. Uh, ninja is the complete opposite of the juggernaut. All of your weapons are replaced with a single katana with increased specs. In addition, your mobility is uh, multiplied by increasing your running speed and the duration of your sprint. You get the ability to climb taller objects without allies, uh, without allies' help. And the noise from your footsteps is reduced. Great. Then there's the Gunslinger. The Gunslinger is a lone cowboy armed with a powerful revolver that rewards his, uh, rewards his marksmanship with an instant reload. Yeah, so if you kill, you just reload instantly, I guess. Mm -hmm. What else is there? The Grenadier wields a boosted version of the M32A1. I don't even know what the M32A1 is, to be honest. It's not an LMG and it's not any 
Rifleman gun. Oh, oh, I, I get it, I get it. Um, the M32A1 is the grenade launcher. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, it's the fucking power-up is called Grenadier. Uh, yeah, which is uh, the first time that it's seen in PvP. Uh, drum magazine grenade launcher that allows the grenade to pour a rain of explosives on opponents. Launch six deadly grenade shots at a time to eliminate any opponent. Great, I guess. Mm -hmm. Then there's the PvE part of the event. I don't think anyone ma uh, anyone is interested in, P in the PvE event because most players are PvP players after all. But yeah, you will get like uh, points for completing... Where is that? Where is that? Where is it? Anubis. You will get black market coins for Anubis. HQ. And uh, yeah, obviously the fucking best. Operation Blackwood. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what else is there? There's the black market. You get uh, stuff for free this time. Because why not? Oh, uh, yeah, 1 out of 20. Press the reroll re button to change the items list. Every update adds 1 star to the exclusive showcase progress. Exclusive showcase progress? Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, we get some something else. We get a sticky grenade with mods. We get these things. Sidewinder Venom. Oh, they, they buffed them. Oh, yeah, they buffed them now. Great. And they do have mods as well. Great. Ah, I, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's see the mods on the... No, not this one. The Cobalt Kinetics Edge Rifle first. It's one of my first weapons, that's why I'm going to scroll down a bit. Mm, there it is. It's moddable now, it's updated. So we get the 95 damage, the increased RPM, which was already increased, but now it is official. And the increased headshot multiplier of 5.0 went up to 6.0 this time. Great. Uh, the mods uh, are this one. This one's not that good, in my opinion. This one is better. Nah, actually both of them suck, honestly. So I guess this one's better. Uh, yeah, I will definitely use the recoil reduction mod, the spread tightness one, and probably rate of fire, maybe. Maybe ADS speed. But these two are, like, the best ones for me. Yeah, probably reload speed, if I think about it. Because other mods don't really matter for me. Except maybe sprint speed, but yeah, that's a different topic. Then there's the side one, the Venom. I don't even know if I have that permanent. I probably do. I just need to find it first. Ah, oh, this, could, this could take some time. That's nah, probably not that far up, it's probably all the way down. If I don't have it yet, I will probably just buy it. Yeah, whatever. Permanent for 3,000 crowns. There we go. I know that there will be a golden version as well, but yeah, I just bought it now. Okay, 920 damage. They increased it by a significant amount, I guess. Then, yeah, what else is there? Pretty straightforward mods. I guess this one's like way better. <laughs> Because it is a slug bullet, and these ones don't have the shotgun glitch yet. They might they might get a shotgun glitch in the, in the near future, but... Warface manages to fuck up everything sometimes. So yeah, this one should be better. <laughs> what else? Range. Nah, recoil. This one, this one, and probably recoil. Nah, recoil doesn't matter. This one is my speculation on the best mods. So yeah, the first three, I guess. Maybe you can uh, play the limp damage one because it really has a horrible limp damage multipliers. But that's probably not even that good because it decreased the uh, spread tightness. Or actually, if you have this mod, it doesn't really matter because you have 70 plus aim accuracy. So yeah, I don't even know what mod you should use on this. Probably just these three, the first three. Mm-hmm. So, what else is there? Is there anything else? I don't know if there's anything else. Let's see the shop. Right, the shop. They will update it tomorrow, probably. Like on Friday. 
So yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? No? Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, let's see the conversion rates on the expedition event. Oh yeah, also, you will be able to get the Kalashnikov of USA Chaos from this event. Then the Beretta PMX, of course. Then the... Yeah, well, what else? Can I... Can I... Can I not see them? Black market. Ah, view showcase items. There we go. You will be able to get free parts from there. Mm -hmm. I guess it's 20 times a day. And there is like a lot. <laughs> okay, so. You get the HK433, Beretta PMX. The OTS48K Mark II and the Kalashnikov of Chaos. Pretty much for free if you just play the event. You get parts for free. You get uh, some other stuff, like, I'm not gonna read out all of them, I will just show them. This one's pretty good, even now. Um, yeah, what else? What else is there? Knives don't matter. There's a Karambit. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's, that's really it. Oh, 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 this one's actually pretty good, because it's very rare. Like, really rare. If you have the golden one, rare is gone in the game. <laughs> but I think that's like the, one of the first times they released a gun that you can actually buy it as well, permanent. It's really shit, as you can see. But, yeah, it's like the first time we can get it, probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, let's see the conversion rates. Yeah, pretty much the same as, uh, as the old one. Actually, let me just buy 250. Uh, 300 actually so I can just show you how the system works. I should have enough. Yeah, there I got the OTS Then what else? Beretta PMX 50 cards for free by the way for free You just have to play the event to get these uh, this thing these things To the exclusive showcase progress I don't really know what they mean by that, but there we got another PMX. I can just skip these ones, I guess, because they're not really anything. So yeah. Another USA. I really want to see what this thing looks like. There are got parts. Great. Oh, I, I will actually not be able to get the... Uh, get this thing to the max because I don't have enough, but I will I will just buy it. I guess I mean, I do have enough credits for it You should not spend credits on these, uh, this uh, by the way It's faster if you just play Blackwood or even PvP. I guess PvP can take some time I believe but uh, yeah, it's just free So HK But it's actually it's actually very good that you cannot get the uh, uh, what's it called the PMX like for free in here. Do they have golden stats? Oh, I think they do have gold stat. No, they don't. It was always thirty five, right? Yeah, yeah. I I don't think they have golden stats. Okay. Uh, yeah. What was I about to say? Uh, I don't know. I forgot. Oh yeah, um, the PMX, uh, it's actually very good that they didn't put it in, like, that you can instantly buy it. I mean, you technically can, but, uh, yeah, it takes some time. Okay, another PMX. When I get it to 20, will I be able to, like, <laughs> will I be able to still reroll? Or is it, like, limited to 20 times a day? Because I think it's limited to 20 times a day. But I'm not that sure. Okay, another Beretta. You need 1,200 cards, by the way, for one weapon. Okay, let's see. 20 out of 20. Okay, 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 I see. Three. And, uh, yeah, last reroll. Okay, um, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see where it is going. You can actually buy it now. 
Okay, 200, 100, 100, and 100. You get all of them if you just reroll 20 times. Oh, you can only choose uh, from one of them. Oh, okay, I see. I see where this is going. So, yeah. Uh, I, I think that's everything. I really hope that this is everything. They added a new PvP map. I think it's Planet Bomb. I can maybe show it. Play, create game, all. Like Antenna. Yeah, we already had this one. Bank, Bedlam, nah. Think, like, uh, yeah, I think it's a bl blitz. Blitz? Nah, it's not blitz. It's plant a bomb. Mm -hmm. D17 district, gas station. Oh, there we go. They added port. Yeah, just why not? You will play PvP on these maps, by the way, on port and antenna. Antenna being. No, nah, not antenna. What's an antenna? Wait. Nah, it was ruins. Oh. So you are going to play on the map map support and on the capture map ruins because it fits the treasure hunters theme and whatever I guess. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done now. I think I said everything. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.